In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, in behalf of the Dominican Fathers, I welcome you here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal. We are gathered to celebrate the Eucharist and to praise God and to thank Him for the many blessings that He has given us through the intercession of Our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. All Holy Father, in the wonder of, the, of your wisdom and love, you decreed that your Son should be born of a woman and subject to her guidance. Grant that we may enter more and more into the mystery of your incarnate word and with him lead a hidden life on earth until escorted by his virgin mother we may joyously enter your home in heaven through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption, a proof that you are children. God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave but a child, and if a child then also, and hear, true God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Lord, my heart is not proud, nor uh, nor are my eyes haughty. I do not busy myself with great mothers, with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Rather, I have stilled my soul, hush it like a wind child, like a wind child on its mother's lap, so it my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, Hope in the Lord, now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Virgin Mother of God, we whom the whole world cannot contain and close himself as a child within your womb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, 
Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, and his parents did not know it. Thinking that Jesus was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, and not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions, and all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kapatid, bilang mga tao, sigurado po marami tayong tanong tungkol sa ating buhay. Bakit ba tayo nabuhay? Anong dahilan kung bakit tayo nandito sa mundo? Sino tayo at para saan tayo nabubuhay? Ang dami nating tanong dahil ang dami nating gustong malaman o madiskopre tungkol sa ating sarili. At kaya naman, palagi tayong naghahanap ng kasagutan sa mga tanong natin. But you know, sometimes, if we do not find answers to our questions, to our queries, we become frustrated and we give up looking or searching for answers, lalo na kapag nawawala at nawawalan na tayo. Nawawala dahil parang wala ng direksyon o patutunguhan itong paglalakbay natin dito sa mundo at nawawalan dahil parang dahil may mga bagay na hindi nagtatagal dahil panandalian lamang. At alam niyo po kung minsan dahil sa mga problema at pagsubok na dumadating sa buhay natin, pakiramdam natin nawawala na rin ang Diyos. Dahil sa mga suliranin sa buhay, may mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin na pakiramdam natin parang nawawala na ang Diyos. May mga nagsasabi, ang hirap hanapin ng Diyos o kaya naman, ang hirap makita ng Diyos kapag nadadaan na sa mga mabibigat na pagsubok. Dahil nahihirapan, pakiramdam ng marami, parang walang tumutulong sa kanila. Parang walang Diyos na sumasama at tumutulong sa kanila. May mga pagkakataon talaga na nasusubok ang ating pananampalataya at nadadaan tayo sa mga ganitong sitwasyon, lalo na patungkol sa ating relasyon sa Diyos. Ito po marahil ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nandito ngayon. Bumabalik-balik dito sa simbahang ito. Hindi lang siguro dahil narinig natin na makapangyarihan ang panalangin ng Apo Bakat, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, 
ni Inang Maria. Kaya gusto nating idulog ang ating mga hiling sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang panalangin. Sigurado po, nandito tayo dahil gusto nating tignan si Inang Maria bilang modelo ng ating pananampalataya and asking her also to teach us how to find and to see God especially whenever we encounter difficulties and uncertainties in life. Si Maria po, naghanap din naman. Sinang Maria, naghanap din po. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayong araw, hinanap niya si Jesus dahil akala niya nawawala siya. For three days with St. Joseph, Mary was looking for Jesus. Just imagine how worried she was losing her only son for three days. Kahit sinong ina o kahit sinong magulang siguro, kung nawawala na ang kanyang anak, lalo na't bata pa, talagang mag-aalala. But eventually, Mary found Jesus. And interestingly, she saw him in the temple. Mary found Jesus in the temple, in the house of his father. She may not fully understand at first what had happened, but according to our reading, she kept all these things in her heart. Brothers and sisters, this is our Blessed Mother showing to us where Jesus is, showing to us where God is. Mary found him in the temple, in his dwelling place. We may think of a structure, this church, for example, as that temple, but isn't it that we ourselves are the temple of the Holy Spirit, the temple of God? where he also dwells. You know, Mary is also leading, leading us to look inside us. We will find God in us as long as we look in the eyes of faith. Kahit po siguro wala tayong maintindihan. But like Mary, let us keep all this in our hearts isinasa puso natin ng may pagtitiwala. Mahanap natin ang Diyos. Maari pong malit ang utak natin para maintindihan ang kabuuan ng misteryo ng Diyos. And that's why we are invited to look at the Blessed Mother to be our model of faith. Brothers and sisters, let us ask our Blessed Mother to teach us how to see God in us, dwelling in us, being with us. And let us ask her to pray for us that we may better know God in order for us to love Him more and to serve Him more. Amen. Please stand. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. And let us ask him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant all men and women who have been called to serve you people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love and their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. You thought Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our, 
our life under God's loving protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You crown Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. All powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we offer you these offerings of consolation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Virgin of Nazareth, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for at Nazareth, she receives with faith the message of Gabriel and becomes the mother of your son, begotten by you before the ages, now born into this world of time as our Savior and our brother. At Nazareth, too, in loving communion with her son, she watches over the, the growing church in the person of her child, and hands on to us the shining example of her life. In the house of Nazareth, as the first disciple of her son, she receives the message of the gospel and treasures, treasures it in her heart and reflects on it in her mind. Now with the angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, 
we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jacinto, our Bishop, Socrates, the Bishop of this diocese, and all the clergy. In mercy and love, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Lord God, look with kindness on those you have strengthened with the sacrament from heaven, so that through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may work silently at building up your kingdom on earth and so enjoy its fulfillment in heaven in the company of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In behalf of the community of the Domin Dominican Fathers, 
I thank you for participating actively in the celebration of our Mass today and for coming in this beautiful church here in Manawag. We also thank Father Jofer who celebrated with us in this Mass and those who serve in this celebration, our seminarians, commentator, lector, EMHC, collectors, asherets, and our musician. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Lord, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakitaas na lang po yung mga rosaries and mga images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.